All right, good. Okay, so today I'm going to make a very tiny arrow bottle and how to go about doing it. Again, my name is Mr. Rosie, which I, for you guys here, you know who I am. But um, since I'll probably be posting this up to YouTube, I'll go ahead and do it. So here's what I do I've got a half a pound of clay. We're going to want to make a bottle with a very long neck. So the first thing I do is get it, um, get it into a little ball, go ahead and center it off. Okay, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. All right, I'm going to lock my hands together. Okay, you got to lock it up like this. Show you how to do this. We pull it. I actually do a little bit of wheel wedging, usually um, three times. Two. All right, we we'll get this guy up there again. All right, so here's how I start this. If you want this sort of shape, I don't want to touch your piece, but I'm going to make this. You have a little little bulge at the bottom, almost a very onion shape, right? That's kind of what you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that sort of shape, a little taller and narrower. And then make my opening. I'm using porcelain with this. All right, once I've made that opening, now I'm going to go ahead and take my hand, add a little bit of water. Again, this is a half a pound of clay. And what I like to do is steal a little bit of weight from the outside. So I pinch my hands like this, and I just start to bring it up. Okay, look, they compress that top a little bit. Again, I'm going to bring it up. Right. Do it again. Get to the bottom. Now, here's where I'm, I'm, as we're making this, I'm realizing since my hand can't get really down there, I want to go ahead and make this little sort of bold circular shape at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this. That's just going to get in my way. And now, here's where the trick is. If you want to begin to tuck the shape in, just compressing the bottom. And I'm just going to go like this. All right? I'm going to draw this in. I'm going to shape it from the outside, all right? And now I'm going to just begin to choke this off and start to drive this up. So why did you uh, pick uh, portions? It's just the barrels over there. I've been kind of working with it. So that's the main reason. Um, We're going to make that shape. And you see, I'm just taking this tool, just carving this down. And again, I'm looking at the shape. You want it thinner, right? I'm just going to go ahead and go in there and choke it off. And again, now I'm going to do this again. All right, now I'm going to get this shape. Now you see all these little frills? You see how as you start to push it in? You get these little wrinkles a little bit, we're going to be able to take those out. So, not too worried about that. Um, I want to just get this little bulb in shape before I continue. So, again, I'm going to take this, take my wooden rib, and I'm going to just start to form this uh, shape that is there. All right? And so, we're going to just get that. Now, now what I'm going to do is Here's how we get rid of the wrinkles a little bit. we got to be careful with how much water we add in here. But you don't want to poke yourself in the eye. But I'm going to take this, and now I'm going to just compress and push this up. And this should drag this up taller. Okay? And so I'm going to just take that. And it's going to keep driving this up. Always remember to breathe. That's always a big. Okay. All right. 
right? And now I'm going to take my little metal rib. I'm just going to start to make that bulbous shape again. That the shapes that you like. Okay. Yeah, I'm making that nice circle. All right, so we've got the nice bottom shape, right? Now we're going to bring this guy up again. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to slowly choke it in from the outside. And again, this is a half a pound of clay. Here's another little trick. You can take your finger if you just want to get it on the outside and go like that. Squeeze it onto your thing. And it'll make nice little dribbles on the surface. Now here's where I'm really going to drive this up. All right, so I'm going to take this. And we're just going to keep following it along. Keep going. Then you wanted a long neck. All right, we'll do the same thing. We'll clean that inside. Clean that scooper. Again, don't poke yourself in the eye. This may not be the best tool for this, but I've always used this tool. I'm just straightening out any of those little gobbler loops that are on the inside. Now, I can cut the top off. See how it's undulating a little bit? Uh, it's up to you. I kind of like it, but do you want me to take it out, or is it good? Cut. Okay, so cut it. Now we'll clean that up. Okay. And now we're going to drive it up one more time. Yeah, you know, we want to add a little water. We want as least resistance as possible. Here we go. You ready? Take this. Is the shape you want? I think that's exactly the shape you want, right? Or do you want a little tighter in here, or is it good? A little bit? Okay. The other way we can trick is, again, we can take our wooden rib. How's that mean, Is that good? So that's how you make a tiny little one bud base uh, with a half a pound of clay. Thanks for joining. Hopefully, you can get the watermelon. How was that? Was that good? That was a good video, I think. So, how will I get the water out? That's a great question, Larry. So basically what I'll do is once it stiffens up a little bit, then I will uh, hold it and kind of flip it upside down and drain it down. Because you don't want water sitting on the inside. Is that the height you want it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because if we look, let me just watch it. Oh, what did you want? 
21? Okay. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what you want. Okay. Okay, so that's how you do it. Yeah, that's a that's a cute little guy. So here's what I'm gonna do. Now that I'm doing all these videos, this video, I'll have I'll, I'll find a way to post it to YouTube and I'll put it on our show. Okay. On the D12 show. I'll do it today, I'll do it this class. Oh no, I can't do it this class. No, can I do it this class? No, I can't. I have to do it again. I'm going to post it on YouTube and you just type in Luke Perosi. But it'll be on your, the D2L show. What is it? The D2L show? Yeah. Uh, it's the Desire to Learn show. So we have an online component in this class. Uh, so if you go into this class, let me see if I can show you. Let me, let me get out of this. Let me, let me. So that you can find it. But I can post it to YouTube. But I put a lot of cool stuff on it. So if you go, uh, I don't know how it goes into the student, but if you go under teaching or classes and click on it, you'll see something that says desire to learn. You click on that, you go into the class. Okay. And it'll take you into some videos that posted some stuff, but not not like this. This is the first video that I posted. Okay. okay? Oh, and I should take a picture of this. Uh, and that'll be the, the image that I show. I don't even know if you can hear people be able to hear me with the mask. But that's how you do it. But you'll be able to look at it again and again and again. That is a lot of, uh, there's a lot of skill in this. So, you know, don't be surprised if you're going to go through it from here. Okay, but that's exactly how you do it. Okay. Yeah, why not? Right? We'll, put, we'll post all the videos. Alright, you guys want some music again? Alright, let me get this uh, let me get this set up here.